Basically, the major difference between pressure control and volume control is in a pressure limited or pressure controlled mode, the volume is variable. You don't have control on the tidal volume. Here is a pressure volume curve on a baby with bad or severe RDS. If pressure increases, the volume doesn't go up. But if you give a factor, for example, compliance improves, same pressure, you deliver a lot more tidal volume. So, and we know if the amount of gas or tidal volume that gets into the baby's lungs, which causes lung injury or volume trauma. That is why many people are going from pressure control to volume control or volume guarantee mode. But if you don't have the ventilator that can deliver a volume guarantee mode, you can still use pressure control as long as you put a volume limit. You set the alarm volume limit. I don't want the baby to get more than six ml per kilo after surfactant therapy. Then it will give you a warning. Then you can go and decrease the PIP. That's an easier way of managing because pressure controlled ventilation is the simplest way to manage lots of babies. Volume guarantee mode needs a flow sensor, especially at the Y and adds expense add some dead space. That is why a lot of centers, even in the US, are still using pressure control mode as the most common one. For example, in my NICU, pressure control mode is the most common one. We will occasionally use volume guarantee mode, but most of the time we use pressure control mode, as long as you limit the tidal volume along. So you know that you have to decrease the PIP when you give surfactant or a diuretic, or steroids and the compliance improves. On the volume control mode, truly, you can see <clears throat> this is the baby with the RDS here. Um, um, RDS here. Uh, after high pressures, you are able to increase the volume, but once you give surfactant, even with the lower pressure, you get a lot more volume. So here, you have no control on the pressure. Okay, you can set a maximum pressure limit. We typically recommend maximum PIP of 30 centimeters if you're on a volume control mode or volume guarantee mode. Anytime, if the ventilator has to work more than 30 centimeters, you need to know why is that ventilator has to use 30 centimeters to deliver five or six ml of tidal volume. Maybe the tube is blocked. Maybe there are secretions. Maybe the tube went into the right mainstem bronchus or baby got a pneumothorax our baby's lung disease got worse. So these are the things that you need to think about. This is in acute babies. In chronic babies, like a baby with BPD, if you're using volume control mode, you have to increase the limit of pressure to 40. Some people routinely set the PIP at 50 centimeters, five zero. Because even the PIP is 50, you are controlling the tidal volume and you will not cause volume trauma. But you really have to think about why is the ventilator using so much pressure to deliver that volume, okay? So that's the major difference between pressure control versus volume control, or pressure limited or volume limited. They all say mean the same.